Hello, my name is Ryan Phillips. I'm a customer service technician at the RM Young Company. This is the first in a series of customer support videos that will be available on our website for you to view at your convenience. Today we're going to go over replacing the flange bearings in the nose cone on a wind monitor. The tools that you'll need to complete this were included with your wind monitor. They're in a small plastic bag. It's one wrench for the propeller nut one gap gauge, and one hex wrench. So the first thing you'll want to do is put the hex wrench on the prop nut and turn it off counterclockwise. Set that aside and the propeller comes straight off. And then you can grab the nose cone with your hand and twist it off counterclockwise as well. And then on this magnet, there's a small set screw that holds it on. So we take the hex wrench and just loosen that screw. and the magnet should slide off. Then the prop shaft pulls straight out. We can take the, the dust shield on the front off, just pull it off, it's a friction fit. Set that aside. And then using the prop shaft, pull the bearings out. It's always a good idea at this point to uh, clean this as best as you can um, using a napkin or a tissue uh, to clean the outside and the inside where both bearings are seated as best as you can. And then grab your new set of bearings, one in the back, one in the front. We put the dust shield back on. Push it on there. Then the shaft should go right back through. And then this is where you'll need the gap gauge. So put the magnet on, put the gap gauge in place, and you should be able to hold it with the magnet. This provides a small amount of space. And then just tighten that set screw back on. And there should be a little bit of play. And it should spin freely. Then we put the nose cone back into the wind monitor. Making sure not to cross thread. And then when you go to put the propeller back on, you'll notice that the back of it is keyed. It matches the notches in the propeller shaft. So put it on, line it up, and it should sit in. Then tighten the propeller nut back on. And we're all done. What many of our customers like to do is to just order a whole nose cone assembly from us. This way they can climb the tower, replace the whole nose cone, put the propeller on, and they can bring the old nose cone down to replace the bearings in their bench. Um, some things to look out for, uh, the bearings should seat fairly tightly in the nose cone. If they're loose or they don't fit right, then uh, you might need to replace the nose cone as well. Also, the shaft should be the same size the whole way across it, all the way up into where that front bearing is. If that's worn away, then it's going to cause problems down the road. So to summarize, we take off the propeller nut, take off the propeller, 
unthread the nose cone, uh, loosen the set screw on the magnet, pull the shaft out, pull the dust shield off, replace those bearings, then put it all back together the, way, the opposite direction. Um, if you have any additional questions, please email us at support at youngusa.com. Also, if you have any ideas for future videos, we would love to hear them. Thanks for watching.